Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Cobb of ZL Performance. We are continuing on our ankle rehab series, and today we're going to talk about kind of the inversion of working on ankle sprain rehabilitation. This is one of my favorite little exercise series to have people go through. For this one, you're gonna need a band that you can attach at a low point off to the side. And I also recommend that you grab a uh, massage tool of some kind, something that vibrates, because we're gonna use a little bit of brain uh, activity here to improve our balance. So the ankle sprain that is most common is called an inversion sprain. Typically, I'm running along, I catch my toe, and my ankle goes out to the side. And that's when the, you get the big you know, tennis ball, golf ball size swelling on the outside of your ankle. Uh, usually there's some ligaments tearing. So the rehab process is going to be critical. So we've already gone through in previous episodes of um, the blog, different things about mobilizing the ankle, warming the ankle up, beginning to create better dorsiflexion, uh, better plantar flexion. So what I wanna talk about today is improving balance and then integration of movement. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to do this. So what I want you to start off with, uh, I would, if you have an ankle sprain you're recovering from, I want you to begin this on the opposite side. So let's imagine that I've sprained my right ankle. I'm gonna learn the exercise on my less compromised side. So I'm gonna start with my left. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep one foot on the ground and we're just gonna simply reach down to the ground and then we're gonna turn and look behind us, all right? So it is a rotation to or toward the side of compromise and then up and away. If it is difficult for you to do that with just a toe, you can do it with a whole foot on the ground. You can just reach down, up and away. Now I want you to compare that to the side that is in rehab or recovering. And again, you're just gonna go down, look up and away, and just see how stable the ankle feels. The ultimate goal is to first do this with the foot flat or comfortably on the floor, then just up on one toe, and then eventually work toward doing that same motion with the foot in the air. So this is a single leg exercise that's involving a lot of rotation, which is gonna require a lot of stability of you in the ankle. So the progression I like to have people do is kind of simple because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a band to support the injured side first, and then we'll go to neutral, and then we'll challenge the injured side as you improve. So now just because of how my band is set up, we have to reverse what I was saying. So we're going to imagine that my left ankle is the one that I sprained. Remember this is an inversion sprain where my ankle snapped to the outside. So I'm gonna first set up, the band is gonna be off to my right and I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna wrap it around the ankle. But you can see because it's off to my right and it's attached to the outside of my left ankle, it's actually helping me stay stable. In other words, it's pulling me away from the ankle sprain position. So once I have that band in place, we would do the exercise that we were just going through, reaching down, rotating away. The way that I'm gonna now hopefully improve this for you is I want you to now grab your massage tool. You're gonna to hold the tool, you're gonna to turn it on, make sure it's vibrating. This is our favorite little handheld massager from Jaku and I'm gonna hold it in the hand opposite the foot that I'm balancing on. So if my left foot is on the ground, that's what I'm trying to balance on, I'm gonna use the tool in my right hand. So I'm gonna hold it in my right hand and I'm gonna go through my exercise. And again, the band is helping support me. So in essence, this is probably the safest version of the exercise because the band is preventing me from inverting and I'm using this tool, very simply put, when I hold it in my right hand, it drives a lot of sensory input to the left side of my brain, which helps stabilize the left side of my body. So I have kind of everything working in my favor now to hopefully be able to do this exercise very comfortably. And I can begin to get some repetitions in. You wanna do high numbers of repetitions, 20 to 30 reps if you can manage that, but you're just gonna do it to fatigue. Now, after you've done this version, you're gonna simply take the band off and you repeat, and this is not in the same day or maybe even the same training session, but maybe over the course of a week, you're then gonna to progress to doing that same exercise, including the vibration tool, without any band support at all, okay? So step one, use the band to support you. Step two, get rid of the band, do it without any support. Step three then is going to be to challenge the ankle. Now in order to do this, we have to reverse my feet again because of where the band is at. So now we're imagining that I sprained my right ankle inversion sprain, my right ankle shot out to the right. 
If I apply the same rules, that means I'm going to have to switch the massage tool to my left hand. But I'm now going to go back to my band. Remember, this is the end of the sequence. This is the harder version. So now the band is going to be looped in such a way that it would be pulling me into a sprain position. So this is, again, the end of your rehab, because now we're trying to control the actual movement that caused the injury in the first place. So now that I have the band trying to pull me into inversion, I'm going to have to work even harder to not have that occur. I'll go back to my basic versions, keeping the foot on the ground, keeping the toe on the ground, and then hopefully elevating the foot um, while I have the band attached. So this progression for most people as they're going through ankle rehabilitation should be looked at as a four to maybe eight week process to really build up enough repetition and enough strength uh, to get to this particular point. But I think that you'll find as you do this, it's going to significantly improve your balance uh, as you go through the rehab phase. So you start, should start to notice that as you're walking, uh, as you're getting back into your more normal activities. So like I said, in stage, don't start with this right away. Do some of the other stuff first, uh, but I think you'll find this extremely effective. Last but not least, if you don't have an ankle sprain and you're just trying to improve athletic performance, these are great balance exercises uh, that you can use in a variety of different ways to challenge and improve your ankle, foot, knee, and hip control. So give them a shot. And let us know what you think. Thanks.